I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. It's time for the pick six now. Race number three on the card and race three goes off at 20 past one on the Monday afternoon over the 1700 meter trip. www.galloptv.co.za Maiden plate over the 1700. And at the time of recording, we have no scratchings in this lineup. So we have a field of 11 that go to post for the opening leg of the pick six. And the horse that's been priced up as the favorite is the one that was extremely disappointing last time out. Horse number five. Petika, he went off deep in the red, 1-4 to four in the betting market and he just found 1-2 good on the day. I would say he was comfortably beaten behind Alphenhorn even though it was just one length. He was terribly disappointing. Paul Peter has decided to put the blinkers on and step him up in trip so he goes up 100 meters more, over 1700. Warren Kennedy aboard once again and Petika, he's drawn in gate number 5 so we'll see how he does go in this lineup. I think that he should be a horse that does give an honest showing and he should be right there now with the blinkers on and Petika, I'm sure that Paul Peter will be hoping for a win this time out after he was disappointing last time out. His penultimate run was an absolute cracker back in the province when running behind Beaches and that form line has sparked up nicely. So Petika, we'll see how he does go with the blinkers and try and 100 meters more but I think that he's got a bit of competition in this race. Horse like number 11, Duke of Africa, who really showed something last time out when running on nicely over the 1600 meter trip. He was stepped up in trip and he showed massive improvement. This two-year-old son of Duke of Marmalade, he does have the worst of draws to contend with once again. He hasn't been drawn kindly in all three of his starter dates and yet again he's drawn badly. But he did run nicely last time out and he wasn't too far behind Petika. And the Duke of Africa, given that he's two, he's only had three starts to date, I think he, he has more scope for improvement than the likes of Petika. So Duke of Africa, he could well turn the form around with horse number five, Petika. And it would be no surprise if he were to go on to win race number three on the card. The horse that I think offers some nice value in the race, race at around 10 to 1 in the market is a horse that keeps me interested. Number eight, like the Clappers. Now, hopefully they can go like the Clappers for this individual. Because I think he's going to run on nicely. He now steps up in trip to 1700 after running his debut over 1200. That was at Hollywood Bets Gravel around the turn over 1200 meters. Beaten behind all the time. He was only beaten five lengths. Now like the Clappers, he does return from a 189 day rest. He last ran in 2021, the 6th of December when Muzieni rode him from the best of the draws. Wide draw to contend with, but I think Carl Schradam and Duncan House are going to give him a chance from that draw and just see how he runs on. And I think like the Clappers, he's going to give an honest showing and I think he's going to be right on top of them. And hopefully at 10 to 1, some nice each way price there. Number 4, Triton, he's an honest sort. Not quite sure he enjoys the poly track. Better on the turf, I'd say. Number 7, Action Stations, another 2 year old in the, in the lineup. 4 kgs off the back, once again from Donald Hirtson. Paul Lefty's runner, he's run Two runs back when he ran behind Cousin Casey. Now, Cousin Casey has come out to win the South Sea Sharks Gate Crashes Stakes of the 1400 meters. And the horse that ran second in that race behind Cousin Casey, Superior Force, he ran second once again behind Cousin Casey in the Gate Crashes Stakes. So the form line is holding up nicely. And uh, Action Stations, I think the four kgs off the back will help him. He's at around 8 to 1 in the market and he goes over the 1700 meter trip. So maybe another runner to be included into the first leg of the pick six what in what does look to be a tricky start if you aren't in the camp of horse number five a petty calf he was extremely disappointing last time out he looked to be the banker on the card went off deep in the red but just found one too good on the day i think you've got to include petica once again the seven action stations horse number eight like the clappers and number 11 duke of africa who i think has more scope for improvement than uh, most of these individuals so those are going to be my selections in race number three on the card and the four numbers that I include into the opening leg of the pick six. Uh, my name is Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. 
It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.